Hello everybody, this is Boudreaux and this is your second video. And again, I'm teaching you six lessons. We've gone through the first two lessons. The first two lessons were who are you at your best? The second lesson was rules of engagement. How do we treat people? Third lesson, this is what I teach. That the business of your business is people. And the key to massive success in our industry is to build and maintain lifelong relationships so that you can be profitable and proud of what you do. In the seminar, I asked you, what words did you hear? You said, profitable, proud relationships. Why you heard those words? because that's the words I'm selling. That's the words I put tonality and volume and extra melody on so that you knew that I wanted you to hear those words. 93% of our communication skills has nothing to do with the word tracks that we are taught in our industry. We got in the car business and they taught us to memorize a script Learn these four or three sentences and the customer's going to lay down right over there for you. And we hooked in. And we came robots with our words. Well, that's not what makes us so powerful. Remember, great storytellers, great entertainers bring words to life. Words have colors and they have flavors. You can feel Feel how the words affect you. That's what I want you to do. 93% of your communication skill is how you bring words to life. And that's what I want you selling from now on. I want you to pay attention to the words. The words are important, but building rapport, remember? How do you instantly connect with people? You've got to get in rapport with them. you got to make them feel comfortable. Instantly, you do it naturally, but you got to be able to connect with people, show compassion for people. You have to be present when you talk to people. In addition to that, your voice inflection, your melody, you have to be sing-songy so that the customers latch on. You end a sentence in a down note and it sounds like the sentence over. It sounds like there's just nothing else there. It sounds like, you know, when you're talking about the car and it's got this kind of engine and it goes really fast, that the last word means nothing, nothing. But when you end the sentence on an up octave, it holds people's attention longer. And people think there's more coming, even if there's not. Because when you end on up, up octave, it's like a question mark. And the conscious mind goes, I'm waiting. Is there something more? Oh, do tell. In your sentences on an up octave. Learn how to use tone and pitch and speed and volume. Look, here's what I teach. The business of your business is people. And the key to massive success in our industry is for you to build long-term relationships so that you can be profitable and proud of what you do. You want to use your body language and your voice inflection to sell. You want to use this. Remember in the seminar, I said, you can say anything you want with a smile on your face, right? Don't be an asshole with me. Don't be an asshole with me. It changes the whole energy of the sentence simply by putting a smile. We talked about sustained levels of energy. You have to stay up. Watch your food. Watch what you're putting in your body. You don't want to eat things that just drag your energy down. That's not serving your customer. That's not serving your family. That's not serving your health. And that's not making you feel good at all. You deserve to feel good. Watch what you put in your body. It's not that you don't get enough exercise. It's what and when you eat we could do a better job, yes? In addition to that, certainty. Learning how to speak with certainty that this is the way it is. You like the car, yeah? Man, get the car. 
Go ahead. You're going to love it. Talk with certainty. It makes a huge difference. The other things we talk, oh, BS. In communication, you have to have great BS. Remember what that stands for? It don't stand for bullshit. It stands for belief systems. You got to believe in yourself. I am incredible. I am worthy. I am successful. You got to believe in yourself. You got to believe in the deal. It don't matter if they upside down credit challenge, waiting for the 2020s to come out, just got an Amway and want a dream. I have 12 years left on that lease payment. It don't matter. Believe there's a deal there. That's what great salespeople do. And they do more than believe. They find the deal. They are creative, flexible, and resourceful. They don't look at a car deal from one angle. They looking all over. There's a deal there somewhere. I got to find it. Hold on. I'll be right back. I'll, I'm going to help you here because I'm looking to solve your PP. That's what I'm here for, to solve your transportation needs, to move away from the problems that exist in your life. I can do that or help you move toward the possibilities of where you want to go. That's what you're capable of. That's what you have the ability to do. But you got to believe in the deal. And then you got to be creative and flexible and resourceful. You got to find the darn deal. You got to start believing in relationships, in lifelong relationships. You got to be proud of what you do. You got to believe in your dealership. The dealership fits your values, stay in one spot. Don't quit because the manager sucks. He ain't gonna last long anyway. Stay in one spot. Build your business in an incredible way. You have a gift. You must build your business and do it in an incredible way. You gotta believe in and promote your product. Talk from here. You got to sell your product from here. Not from here. Learn your product in a way that the customer goes, damn, I had no idea the car was that good. It's, it's not just, it's not 2,000 pounds of metal and steel you're selling. It's a way to solve their PP. It's a way to heal what's going on in their life. It's a way to help them get to their kids basketball game. It's a way to help them get to their way of becoming financially independent. It's a way to get them to having a vehicle that they're finally proud of. You do that. You'll love what you do every day. But you got to have good BS. So believe in the deal. So the third one is communication. First one is believe in who you are. Second one is rules of engagement. How do we treat people? Third one, you got to start communicating at a stupid level from here, not just based on words. Number four, I want you to picture right here that where I'm standing, there is a great big apple tree. And on that tree, there are all kind of green unripe apples on that tree. Thousands of people in your tree that you know. You can wait for those people to fall off the tree and think they're going to roll to you. Or you can climb up in your tree and start connecting with everybody you know. You can talk about their favorite subject. You know what that is, right? Themselves. You talk about their subject. You talk about them. Quit selling cars. Quit selling stuff. Get out of the car business. Your car ain't shit. Your car, I can get anywhere in the city. What's the most important thing is the ability to love and care for others with no attachment to your outcome. Yeah, 20% of these people are in the market for a car. You may have to help them, but you're not going to help them if you don't talk to people. You go to the Starbucks, the Dunkin' Donuts, children's basketball game. You go to your favorite restaurant. You don't talk to nobody because you think you sell cars. You don't sell cars. You're a master with people. You, you like people, yes? You, you want people to like you, right? This is you. Stop selling. Just be you and be available and be of service. Remember, I didn't like being a salesperson. Didn't fit me. 
put me in a position where I can solve and serve everybody, I'll kick your ass in sales because that's what I am. Be who you are, but get back in the people business. You deserve that. All kind of places for you to meet people. Go on back and sit in that service lounge. Don't talk to nobody. Wait about four minutes. All of a sudden, you'll be in a conversation. You can't keep your mouth shut that long. Next thing you know, you talk about their favorite subject. Get to know everybody in your dealership. Have a friends and family sale in your store. Start connecting with people in your store so that when they have a friend looking for a car, they're going to come see you. Remember what it takes to do that. Being the house mouse is not about kissing butt. Being the house mouse is about being thoughtful and charming and kind. It's about putting the person who refers you someone in a position they have no regrets for sharing your relationship. And they know you know that the value of their relationship is more valuable than the attachment to a damn car sale. That's what it takes to be the house mouse. Go around and talk to everybody in the store. Go get to know people. Go promote other people's businesses. You know the pizza parlor you love. How come you ain't telling everybody in your database about that pizza parlor you love? It's called affiliate marketing. We're the only industry that doesn't do it. Why don't you go in and tell the pizza guy, the owner of the store, say, I'm going to tell everybody in my database, everybody in my CRM, I'm going to tell them about your place because I like your place. And next time that person gets a customer, where do you think they're going to go with them? You got your favorite beverage counselor that you go have a cocktail with, but you don't send her no customers. She's the best beverage counselor in your whole city. She pours you extra tequila in your margarita. <laughs> you don't even send her customers. You need to tell everybody about her. Because I guarantee you, when they're sitting at that bar, they are people talking about getting a car. And she would love to hand them your card for all the business that you send them. You gotta be more, you gotta find more flexible ways. You married? You married? I would recommend you take a dozen roses a month, carry them to your wife's business. She gonna think you did something wrong the first couple of times. <laughs> Every woman in that office is gonna go, I wish my husband would bring me some flowers. My husband don't do shit for me. I wish my husband did something. Bring her a big box of chocolates for her to hand out. Bring it to your mom or your grandma at her office. They all talk about you. That's all marketing is. Every month you bring in the, the, the flowers of the month club to your favorite woman. The whole office. And eventually, somebody going to say, what's that man of yours do anyway? And that woman going to say, he sells cars. Ethel's looking for a car. Next thing you know, you screw up and you sell a car. Just because you give your wife flowers. And I would say, you send her flowers because you love her. Not because it's worth the extra money, right? You could do it for both reasons, whatever way. You have to find ways to connect with people. You have to find ways to put people in a position where they bring you money, where you're the one they can talk to easily. You got kids? There's gold in them that hills. Go get involved with the Booster Club. They're always looking for help. Go make a donation to your church. So many ways to connect with people. The fourth lesson, get back into people business. Lifelong relationships. Be profitable and proud of what you do. What I'd like you to do right now is I'd like you to post some comments and questions to me. Keep them coming. I'm liking I'm reading every, every one of them, and I'm enjoying them. So keep posting those to me. In addition to that, right now, when you turn off this thing, this, this here video thing, and it's over, I want you to watch for my next announcement because I'm going to go into the next two. But as soon as you hang up from this thing, I want you to go talk to some people. Don't be distracted by nothing else. Just hang up, go talk to some people. Not sales people that ain't buying shit from you. Go talk to other people. I guarantee you do that, you're going to have an easier business. Thank you for listening to this video. Get ready for my third one. When it comes, 
Open it up. Have a piece of paper and a pencil ready. More money there. See you soon.